Hey folks, Will Brink here, www.brinkzone.com. Uh, today I thought we'd have a uh, brief discussion about DHEA. Uh, been around forever, used to be pushed hard back in the old days as an uh, anabolic supplement uh, for bodybuilding and uh, sort of faded out and I'd say has made a bit of a comeback in the last uh, number of years as a, more of a health promoting supplement. Uh, basic truth about uh, DHEA is uh, as a as a anabolic, as a muscle builder, whatever in young men, it's it's useless. Uh, in fact, it might even be counterproductive because it raises estrogen and such. So, as a anabolic type supplement, uh, it's a bust. And why it was pushed hard back in the day and kind of disappeared. But that doesn't mean it's useless. Uh, actually, as a health promoting supplement. Uh, especially for people low in DHEA, it's definitely a worthwhile supplement. Uh, as we age, uh, our DHEA levels tend to take a very steady decline, and low DHEA levels are associated with uh, uh, quite a few diseases. Uh, and I'd say the data is pretty strong that uh, keeping your DHEA levels in the healthy range is probably warranted. Uh, how do you know? Well, basically, blood tests is how you are going to know where your DHEA levels are at, unfortunately. Um, you know, if you're beyond 40, 45, you're pretty, you can be pretty confident that your DHEA levels are certainly not what they were when you were 20. Uh, and there is some articles on the Brinkstone about that. And uh, you're probably safe, to, certainly safe to take, if you're a, a, a man, 25, 50 milligrams or so. But I still recommend that uh, people get regular blood work anyway to check their hormones. And one of those should be uh, DHEA and DHEAS. Uh, so as a muscle builder, not going to happen, but uh, as a health promoting type supplement. And some people can have low DHEA levels uh, in younger ages. Now, I also have to qualify uh, this. DHEA actually looks like it's a very interesting supplement in women. In women, it's a it looks like a legit uh, antidepressant, uh, boosts libido, mood, uh, maybe a mild uh, anabolic, that is it might add a little muscle and lose some body fat, and that is because there is a, uh, a weak conversion to testosterone. Uh, now in men, it's just too weak a conversion to be of any value. We need more testosterone. But in women, that weak conversion appears to be enough to uh, give them some benefits. And, you know, like anything, the data uh, needs to be stronger, but there are, the number of studies are pretty good, and you can read an article specific to the benefits of, of DHEA in women on the Brink Zone. Uh, so that's pretty much my talk about DHEA. Uh, if you like this information, uh, please hit the, you know, the like buttons and the Twitter and all that. That helps me out. And I hope to see you all on the Brink Zone. Now for more information on this topic, head on over to www.brinkzone.com where you'll find my blog, more videos, free reports on fat loss, muscle building, supplementation, fitness, health, and longevity, as well as a ton of articles and my free weekly newsletter. So head on over to the Brink Zone.